Hey, you were in Indie Alley doing Indie News. Actually, we're doing an all-image Indie News, number 61. And we got stories on Butcher Baker, the Righteous Maker, Captain Wonder in 3D, and a bunch of pilot season news from Top Cow. They are taking winners, and they're actually making books out of them. What a brilliant idea. All that in 60 seconds. Hey, you want to save 20% off of everything in the store? Then show up on the 20th of every month because the 20th is Founders Day here at Alternate Reality. And on Founders Day, everything except this week's new comics and bulk supplies is 20% off. That's right, every single thing in the store is 20% off every 20th here at Alternate Reality. The Indie Alley is alive and well with the spirit of independent comics. Although it may not smell that way. Here's Comic Book Man and Bo. There is a man on the sheep. Independent comic book news, episode 61, Butter Road. Hey folks, Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to my video outhouse. It's time for... Indie News. We got time for Indie News. This is all image Indie News, oh, in fact. Well, then, and all image Indie News, which is coming to you from Alternate Reality. Located at the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood. Alternate Reality, or all new comics are 15% off every day for everyone. Including all my image comics. Including the upcoming... Butcher Baker from Image. Tell us about it. Butcher Baker, the Righteous Maker, is written by Joe Casey. It's going to be drawn by Mike Huddleston, who did uh, work for The Coffin and did some Ani stuff. The main character, Butcher Baker, is apparently a truck driver. He's got this big truck is called... Is his name Uncle Pete? No, no, he's called <laughs> Butcher Baker. He drives a big-ass truck called the Liberty Bell, and he goes out and he fights crime. And Joe Casey said the book will be loaded with blood and gut. Just don't eat his cupcakes. Is he a member of the Tea Party? No, he's not a member of any party. He's a Butcher mm -hmm. Baker. Don't he's eat his cupcakes. He's a Butcher cupcakes. Baker. He's the righteous major. He knows he's right. He's got okay. vanilla tartare. Yes. Next up, next up, Image is doing a 3D book. That's right, so. a 3D. 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 Is the only in one dimension? <laughs> As opposed to the two-dimensional <laughs> books they normally do. Oh. And that book will involve Captain Wonder. Captain who? who? It's a character created by former Spawn writer Brian Heberlin. The book will be drawn by Green Lantern artist Philip Tan. It's a one-shot called Captain Wonder 3D. It's a 48-page overpriced book. Well, $9.99 probably. That's it'll, overpriced. It'll feature a character named Billy Gordon, a 10-year-old boy who is obsessed with a superhero known as Captain Wonder. I'm obsessed. Now, apparently the deal with Captain Wonder is that Captain Wonder is actually an exoskeleton, and little kids have been the body of Captain Wonder for a while. That's prime. Something <laughs> happened. Well, it's metal, though. Not, not skin. Oh, it's not metal. Flat, not skin. It's metal. Okay. So something happens. Billy Gordon becomes the new Captain Wonder, and he'll go out and he'll fight crime. Now, if this oh, book yeah. sells quite well, then they'll be doing a series of this once a year. A nine, it's going to start off as a 995 3 d one shot. Yes. Yeah, it's gonna sell great. Hey Bo, how's Captain Wonder like his bread? <laughs> He's dirty tasty. Toast it up, it's good for you. Uh, I, you know, I, I own a, I own a comic book store. Okay, maybe six. I am not a marketing genius, but I, I maybe. don't think, I don't think you introduce a new character to the general public with a hugely overpriced first issue in 3D. I mean, the 3D thing is nice, but you know, as a one shot, as a we're gonna knock this out and put it out there. Fine, but as a launching of a new series, I'm not sure if that's the best thing in the well, world. Well, a yearly event. Okay, yearly event is not ongoing. <laughs> Just saw the comics, comic book man. That's what I try to do, that's what I try to do. We're taking a left turn into Top Cow. Okay. Specifically, we got a bunch of pilot season stories. These are all pilot season stories from Top Cow. First thing up is pilot season 39 minutes. This, this book, this. won pilot season 2010. <sighs> William Harms, Jerry Lando, it involved a team of bank robbers who hit uh, small towns and the fact that they were being hunted down with a former character, former commander in Iraq. We will see a follow-up limited series this year. Now, the, the tendency with pilot season books is they announce a winner and they go, it's going to be a limited series, and like five years pass and you get the damn book out, which will follow into our next couple stories. Okay. This one, one. This was for pilot season 2010. If you go back two years to pilot season 2008, this came out yes and they're actually doing something with this now genius uh it'll yes they're going to do a limited series two years after the book was popped up yes Great. two years later we're going to do a limited series. i have had people waiting for two years for them to do something with this book every week people say when is that genius limited series coming out from pilot season because i thought it was great the guys who basically <laughs> and, I, and, I, and i go buy something else yeah buy something. <laughs> But the limited series is it's written by the guys who did the uh, last bunch of authority books. Mark Burden and Adam Adam Freeman is drawn by some artist named Afoa Richardson, and it's not gonna sell. 
Oh, but, It'll sell great because you're all going to come down here and buy it for 15% no, no. off its first week. But if they published it, well, yeah, it would help. If they published it in 2009, it probably would have sold much better. Speaking of 2008, which we were just in, we're going to stay there for pilot season Twilight Guardian. Which won at pilot season 2008. Troy Hickman, who did Common Grounds. Yeah. You're going to get a new limited series involving the 2008 pilot season winner this month. Yay! Yes, it took them two years to get this one out. And the series involved a uh, superhero, a female superhero, who basically patrolled her nine-block neighborhood. Guys, the pilot season concept's a great idea. It really is. It's a great idea. You, you, you shoot a book out there, one well, shoot. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Velocity won in 2007, didn't it? it? Didn't they do a limited series this year? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Well, that's not what I was getting to. You know, it's great It's great to shoot a character out there, give them a one-shot, put everything you can into that one-shot to make it popular and see if people like it, and then whatever, whichever one of the bunch that you do, people like, that's what you make a series out of. But you know what? You actually have to make the series for people to care. <laughs> We're going two years back. Life has gone on since then. No I forgot all about them. If there's no follow-up. Yeah, there's no follow-up. Exactly, there's no follow-up. Okay, well, that's it. We're done with Fish Rod here. we got no more indie image news. we follow up. But we follow up. We follow up with the store's website, where this guy posts all the image and all the indie news. And, Bo, where, where is the store's website at, where you I, do all these wonderful things? I forgot, but I, I told Sarah, and Sarah had it written down. www.myalternatereality.com Can I have my iPod back now? So stop off at the store's website and check out all of his news. And until next time, this is Comic Book Man. And Bo. Saying. Bye. The Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them. Alternate Reality is located at 3149 West 111th Street. That's the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in Chicago, the beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood neighborhood. You can always reach us at 773-881-HERO or at the store's website, www.myalternatereality.com.